What's up everyone? Today my parents are going to teach us how to prepare bamboo leaves and how to fold them into zhong or sticky rice dumplings. There are a ton of variations across Asia, but at its core, it's a pocket of sticky rice with delicious fillings wrapped together in beautiful bamboo leaves. The style of zhong that we'll be learning today comes from Toisan, where my parents grew up. In their villages, my grandparents used to make this for my parents, and my parents still make this for us pretty much every year for the Dragon Boat Festival, which falls on the fifth day of the fifth month in the Chinese calendar. This year, it's right around the corner on June 14th, so I wanted to share an updated excerpt from our full recipe guide that we published a while back. Zhong holds a special place in Chinese tradition that a lot of families will pass down their own recipes across generations. If you don't already have your own recipe, or if you're curious about my family's recipe, feel free to stop this video and watch our full recipe guide, linked in the corner and in our description. Otherwise, please enjoy our tutorial on how to master the trickiest parts of making zhong, preparing bamboo leaves and folding them into dumplings. The primary goal for this section is to make sure that our bamboo leaves are pliable enough to bend and wrap without cracking. Secondly, we're sanitizing our leaves by boiling them and scrubbing them with a clean sponge later. For each zhong, we'll need 3 leaves to fully wrap the dumpling, so we're looking at preparing at least 60 leaves, plus a healthy margin of additional leaves in case they get cracked in the process. Next, we'll place a weight on the leaves to keep them submerged. Then, we'll cover the wok, set the stove to high heat, and wait for it to come to a boil. Once it's boiling, we can start washing the leaves. You can also use a big pot for this step instead of a wok. While we wait, I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. Using a clean sponge, carefully wipe down and wash both sides of each leaf. If you're planning on marinating your pork belly overnight and finishing cooking the next day, then place the leaves in a bucket or a big bowl of water so they stay moist overnight. Since this is a recipe that takes a day or two to prepare, I wanted to give you an overview of all the major steps. Let's say we want to have these ready for dinner on Sunday. Then on Saturday morning, we'll prepare the pork belly and let it marinate overnight. 
We'll also soak, boil, and wash the bamboo leaves, and then let the leaves sit in water overnight as well. On Sunday morning, we'll wash, soak, cut, and flavor the rest of our ingredients. On Sunday afternoon, we'll start assembling and wrapping our jung with our bamboo leaves. Once the jung dumplings are wrapped and tied, we'll boil them for three hours. Then they'll be ready to eat for dinner. If you're pressed for time or if you have a lot of hands on deck, it's possible to do all of this in a single day by combining the marinating and soaking that occurs on Saturday and Sunday morning. Here are some other items you'll need. A big salad bowl or basin for washing. Lots of bowls for soaking. A colander for draining. Cotton cooking twine for wrapping. And a big pot for boiling. Making zhong is a long labor of love, and it's a really fun activity to do with family or a big group of friends. If you're looking for a written version of this recipe, check out our blog post at madewithlao.com, where you'll find an adjustable list of ingredients and step-by-step -step videos to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Next, Mommy Lao is going to show us how to fill and wrap our zhong with bamboo leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Do I look good? Hi! All the dear fans, Mama Lao is going to uh, demonstrate the zhong in Cantonese or sticky rice dumpling. I learned this when I was a teenager. I, I grew up in the Toy Chinese family. I saw my mother, my grandma. They made this dumpling. I was helping on the side and I absorbed how they do it. Okay, first, for all those leaves, you can see the leaf is not the same size. They have a big leaf. See, this is a big leaf, right? This is a small leaf. They have a shiny side on the top. The bottom side is kind of rough. You can touch, then you can see it's very easy to see the difference. For each dumpling, we use three leaves. So I put a big leaf and the small leaf on the top. Before you put two leaves, you can check. Like this leaf, right, have a little crack, but on the side of the crack, it's okay. But if in the middle of the crack, you either throw away the leaf or you can use the second leaf to cover the crack. For this leaf, have the upper round corner and the bottom pointing. I use the big leaf. Shiny side, the small leaf, shiny side, made this opposite. The pointing point with the round, round hair put together. We leave the distance about two centimeter. Between two leaves is two centimeter. Fold forward to the center like this, and then hold it, and then make the second fold in the bottom. Second fold in the bottom about, about 1.5 to two centimeter. Fold it, fold it like this, fold it like this, fold it like this. So you can see like this, right? So the, the, the bottom and the top. So after you fold, you can see the pocket. You can see the first leaf here, the second leaf here, and the corner here and the pocket. Okay, now we are going to start to fill in. First, two tablespoons of the sweet rice. Kind of spread a little bit. And then one tablespoon mum beam. Kind of spread it a little bit. And then one tablespoon peanut and then also spread in the center a little bit okay put pork belly one piece and then one piece of the Chinese sausage also put it in the center and one piece of the egg yolk put it in the center two piece of the dry shrimp one you can put it in the top one put it in the bottom here two piece of the dry mushroom one in the top one in the bottom here so we're going to fill in one more Thai one tablespoon mum beam spread from the top to the bottom. Two tablespoon sweet rice and also spread from the top in the bottom. So after you fill it in, you can use a spoon, make a little even inside. Then we use the other leaf. For this time, you don't have to pick like a small or big. They both okay. So like that. Wrap it. First, you fold this side, fold it, and then fold again this side of the leaf. So after that, then it will become like this, like this, okay? And then the top of the leaf, so fold downward all the way, all the way like this, fold it. Like a pretty much just like this, okay? This is thumb wrapping. This is the cotton string we're going to use. I usually leave about six inch. So my finger holding the, holding the string in the middle start to wrap. So start, like a, use the string, binding the whole sweet rice tumbling. I can make a loop all the way, all the way. 
all the way here. So done wrapping here. So after that, then I turn over mid the string. I I was safe in the in the first, and then make a cross, double cross, and then make the other banding on the on the like the straight way. So pretty much done. So now we can tie a knot, double knot. Okay, done. So we can cut the string. And also, uh, you can see this is extra <laughs> Lee here. We can cut that too. So all those sweet rice dumplings, you don't have to exactly how big and how small, but most of the time, if you use three pieces of the bumble leaves, about five and a half ounce to six and a half ounce, that would the way. Okay, so pretty much just like this. It's pretty easy. You don't have to worry about perfect wrapping. At first, you have all those very delicious ingredients inside the, the, the sweet dumpling. It will taste pretty good. Thank you for watching Mama Lao, how to wrap the sweet rice dumpling. Now, we'll repeat this process until all of our sticky rice dumplings are assembled. I know that was a lot of information, but don't worry if it's not perfect. As long as the leaves and string hold everything together, it should be totally fine. Also, this is something that you'll get better at with practice. Feel free to rewind as many times as you need. Visit our blog for more info, or leave a comment if you have any questions. Speaking of questions, here are answers to two of the most frequently asked questions we got from our previous video on Zhong. 1. Can you substitute this with banana leaves? My parents say you can, but it'll taste differently. They've never tried it themselves, as my mom said it's not as common in the Cantonese style of dung. Banana leaves also have a different texture and aren't as firm as bamboo leaves, so they're not exactly sure how the preparation differs from us boiling our bamboo leaves. 2. Can you reuse the leaves after you've unwrapped and eaten the dung? My parents said you definitely can, and that they do this occasionally. After you eat the dung, you can soak them in warm water right away. Use a brush to wash it off, rinse it again, and dry it in a basket. The leaves will be a little warped the second time around, so wrapping will be a little more difficult. Okay, you will be made this for Cam Cam. Okay, yeah. Yay. To end on a personal note, in the past, I used to take these dumplings for granted, but now I definitely realize how much effort and love goes into making them. Both of my parents grew up making these with my grandparents, who learned it from their parents, and so on. As our son and future kids get older, I look forward to continuing the tradition with my family and passing it down through the generations. Yay! Kem mommy first, Jung. First one. Sweet rice dumpling for you. Yay. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. Okay. And with that, on behalf of the Laos, we really appreciate all of your love and support. We hope this recipe brings your family and loved ones much love and joy in all the years to come. Let Kem Kem say thank you for your support. See you next time. Kem Kem say bye. Goodbye, Kim. Bye. Smile, thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you. You will make delicious sweet rice dumpling. Toy Sunny's Jones. Yum.